Hi, this is Jesper, and I create contact for business and technology professionals who love data and technology. This video is about data migration. It's not a technical video because data migration is a business activity although it has technical components. It is for technology and business professionals who are involved with data modernization or data migration projects. And anyone who has been involved in a data migration project will know how difficult they are and how they derail timelines and budgets. Data migration is one of the least understood disciplines in business and digital transformation and where organizations keep repeating past mistakes. Well, we can't choose what we don't understand and the purpose of today's video is to highlight the data migration blind spot by describing the four critical success factors for successful data migration. But first, let's start with a common definition of data migration. Data migration is a movement and transformation of data between a source data model and a target data model. This makes it different from other data movements such as file transfer. This is an important distinction. Data migration transforms data. The more the business changes in operating model and processes, the more complex and risky the data migration becomes. So it is important to be clear on the success factors and what they mean. There are many reasons why data migrations fail, but in my experience, that can be related back to one or more of the four success factors, three which are well known, but one which is not understood. Let's look at them one by one. The first success factor is source data quality. This makes sense, but is often underestimated and started too late. At the minimum, Source data needs to go through three steps to ensure the right level of data quality. The first one is data profiling, which involves examining the existing data to understand its structure, content, and quality. It helps identifying issues like missing value, inconsistent formats, or outliers. The second one is data validation, which involves running validation rules to identify data quality issues. These rules check for data accuracy, such as correct data types and value ranges. And the third one is data cleansing, which involves correcting or removing incorrect, incomplete or irrelevant data. Techniques include deduplication, which removes duplicates, normalization, which structures the data and correction of the errors identified during profiling and validation. Remember this, Poor quality data is guaranteed to make data migration fail. The second success factor is a current state data model. The basis of a data model are entities, relationships between entities, and attributes. So current state data model shows the data being used and its relationships with other data. Sometimes the terminology of tables and columns are used that for the purpose of this video an entity is the same as a table, and an attribute is the same as a column. If you need a refresher on data normalization, I've made a couple of videos explaining the concepts and put links in the video description. To be fit for purpose for data migration, entities, relationships, and attributes need to be documented, and subject matter experts, such as business analysts or data stewards, need to be available to describe their meaning. The third success factor is a target state data model, which describes how data will be stored and collected in the future. It is often the result of implementing a new system or platform like SAP, Dynamics, or Salesforce. For a target state data model to be fit for purpose for data migration, entities, relationships, and attributes need to be documented and clearly understood, and subject matter experts such as business analysts or functional consultants need to be available to describe their meaning. Next, the difference between the current and target state data model show how data needs to change structurally between the source and target state. But most data migrations go off the rails if they now start to map data between current and target state entities and attributes. Because something very important is missing, which is covered in success factor 4. 
success factor four is a difference in how current and target state processes treat data. This is rarely considered or even understood, which leads to having to reactively solve problems in later stages during the data mapping where they are more difficult and costly to resolve. This is so important I will spend some time unpacking it, so please stay with me. Let's start with the case study. The Mental Health Association, MHA, is looking to replace a legacy CRM system and redesign the sales and marketing process. The focus will be on needs and opportunities, both important concepts in the sales and marketing process. Let's start with the current state. MHA's legacy CRM is basic. Any individual with a valid email address becomes a lead. A lead that has attended an event becomes an opportunity. An opportunity becomes a sale when the individual purchases a membership. But going forward, MHA wants more granularity and has redesigned the sales and marketing process to follow best practice. This has led to the introduction of four types of leads. A marketing accepted lead, which MHA defines as an individual with a valid email address and a valid first name or last name. A marketing qualified lead, which is a marketing accepted lead which has attended an event or requested specific information. A sales accepted lead, which is a marketing qualified lead that has attended two events, requested specific information on two occasions, or attended an online event and requested specific information. The sense accepted lead is turned into an opportunity once the individual has had an online one-on-one -on -one meeting with an MHA sales representative. The question MHA is facing is how to migrate the existing leads and opportunities to fit the new sales and marketing process. Some are easy. For example, any leads with a valid email address and first name or last name are migrated as is and becomes a marketing accepted lead. But what if the lead has requested information twice, but not attended an event? In this case, it cannot be migrated as a need, but needs to be migrated as an opportunity. And what if an existing opportunity has only attended one event? In this case, it cannot be migrated as an opportunity, but needs to be migrated as a lead. These are two simple examples. In the reality, there may be tens or hundreds of exceptions depending on how much the sales and marketing process has changed. A simple rule is, the greater the business transformation, the harder the data migration. So how should MHA approach it? My recommendation is to start with a business glossary. A business glossary describes terms and concepts that are important to an organization. First, identify the terms and concepts that change due to the transformation. For the purpose of this example, that will be leads and opportunities. Second, describe the current state logic underpinning leads and opportunities. Third, describe the target state logic underpinning leads and opportunities. Fourth, describe the different scenarios. And fifth, write the logic for each scenario in plain English. Performing this activity before data mapping takes place greatly reduces complexity and increases chances for success. It may seem like an overhead, but the question is not if it's needed, because it definitely is, but when it is done. If it is left to figure out until the data mapping, which is often undertaken by technical resources, it will take much longer, causing more errors and putting the project at risk. So to summarize, to give a data migration project the greatest chance of success, we need four things. Quality data, a current state data model, a future state data model, and the difference in how current and target state processes change data. I hope you have enjoyed this video, and if you have, I would really appreciate if you hit the like and the subscribe button. Thank you for watching. Looking forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care till then.